What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to install an ad block on Google Chrome to get rid of those pesky website ads. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just hop right to it. So I think the first thing that's pretty obvious is to open up your browser of choice. Again, we're going to be using Google Chrome in today's example. The new Edge browser is built on basically the same technology or the same backbone, so it should be very similar. Same with Firefox itself. Now, if you run multiple Google Chrome profiles or browser profiles, you will have to set this up for each profile uh, and add an extension to each. So this is a perfect example. I actually don't have an ad blocker on here. I wanna show you guys the contrast of how well some of these ad blockers work. And of course, if you go to the Weather Channel, uh, which I do visit very frequent, it just gets absolutely plastered with different advertisements. So you can see once this loads, We've got an ad at the top here, we've got an ad on the side here, and anything that's got the little blue triangle or advertisement is all ad, and it just takes up bandwidth, it takes up time to load the website, all of that good stuff. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go over to the Chrome Web Store, you can just type in Chrome Web Store right there in the search field, you can do chrome.google.com, either way that'll take you to the Web Store, and it should automatically take you to the extensions, if not, just click on extensions. This will allow you to search for an extension. The main one that I use most of the time is going to be called uBlock. So you can type in uBlock and it's gonna be the uBlock origin up here in the search field. So we're gonna click on that. It's gonna load it. You can typically see that this is the most popular. It's got 25,000 reviews at like a 4.8 star rating. If you click on it, it's got over 10 million different users. Chances are it's gonna be a good ad blocker. So you don't wanna pay attention to this when you're trying a new ad blocker to see if it's worth its salt. So at that point, all we're gonna do is click on add to Chrome. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to add it? Yes, click add extension. And if you pay attention in the top right hand corner, you'll see it may have flashed for just a quick second and then it hides it under this little puzzle icon. You can click on that and show what extensions are available. In this menu, you can pin it. If you click on the little thumbtack, it'll make it to where you can always see that extension. This comes in handy, and I'll show you here in just a moment, that you can turn it on and off depending on the website that you're trying to filter those ads from. So if we click on the little three little dots, you can go to basically the about page, you can block the element, you can go into its options, you can remove it if you decide you don't like this and you found another one, remove it, or you can go into the extension management anyway. That's as in depth as we're gonna go with that menu. But what I wanna show you guys now is now that we have a uh, ad blocker installed, let's head on over to the website here and you can see that there's no longer any of these ads on the weather channel. Anything that was on the top is gone, all along the side is gone. And if we refresh this, granted I do have some cookies cached from this website, but it's it loads much quicker because it's not loading all of those ads. If this is a website that you want to support, which I highly recommend doing, if you wanna support a website, add them to a whitelist, unblock the site from uh, filtering out those ads so they can be supported from that ad revenue stream. And you can do that by coming up to the little icon up here. You can see that it's blocked 32 different ads on this specific site. You can left click it. There's a little power button right here where you can click it. And then a refresh icon is going to pop up where you can click that. And it's going to reload this website. But because we turned off the ad block, all of those ads are now reappearing. All you need to do again is to turn that back on, refresh the page, and it will remove those advertisements once again. This ad blocker also does block uh, ads on YouTube, but again, if you like the YouTube channel, be sure to you know filter them so they can get that. Uh, Twitch TV, I don't believe this works on Twitch. I think Twitch has found a way to get around those ad blocks. I haven't found one that works really well. But again, if you support the streamer, run the ads, watch those ads so they can uh, you know, continue doing what they like to do. But other than that, that's just a simple way to go in and install an ad block. That is going to wrap it up for this week's video. Like I said, super short. Hope you guys were able to get yours working. If not, reach out down in the comments below. Some ad blockers will work on certain websites or certain websites are able to get around those ad blocks. So they're not always 100% effective. But any case, that is going to do it. Let me know if you guys liked the video by giving it a thumbs up. While you're down there, be sure to subscribe and share as well. Those three things certainly help us grow our channel and we will see you guys on the next video. Peace.